So today what we're going to do is we're going to review some special right triangles back from geometry. So if you remember back in geometry, <coughs> excuse me, we talked about the special right triangles. Remember a right triangle is a triangle that has one 90 degree angle. So the first type of um, special right triangle we're going to talk about is the 45-45-90 triangle. The 45-45-90 triangle consists of two 45 degree angles. and a 90 degree angle. Remember a 90 degree angle is what we refer to as a right angle. So in our 45, 45, 90 triangle, remember the hypotenuse is located opposite of the 90 degree angle. And there's a relationship between the length of the sides um, in the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Remember the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times each leg. The legs are congruent and remember that means they have the same length. So remember all three angles in a triangle have to add up to equal 180 degrees. So when you look at your 45, 45, 90 triangle, um, because this is 90, this one angle is 45, we automatically know that this angle also has to be 45 degrees. So I can label these sides of the triangle as my two 45, the sides opposite my 45 degree um, angles are congruent, so I'm going to call that X. And remember, on when you're looking at a triangle, if you see these hash marks, it means those two sides are congruent. So since I know that the length of the side opposite my 45 degree is X, then I know the length of the hypotenuse is going to be X times square root 2. So as long as you know one of the three sides in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you can find all three sides. So for example, in this 45, 45, 90 triangle, again, they're giving you the leg. So I know that the hypotenuse is going to just have to be 3 times the square root of 2, the length of the leg times square root of 2. So in this particular triangle, um, I don't know what happened to my 45 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So in this particular 45, 45, 90 triangle, notice in this particular case, they're giving me the hypotenuse. So to find each leg, what I'm going to have to do is take the length of the hypotenuse and make it x times square root of 2. So then to solve for x, I'm going to have to divide by the square root of 2. So 7 divided by square root of 2 is equal to x. And remember, when you rationalize the denominator, you're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the radical that's in the denominator. So then the length of my two legs in the 45, 45, 90 triangle will be 7 square root 2 over 2. And again, because these two sides are congruent. Okay. So now in this particular 45, 45, 90 triangle, again, notice I'm giving you a leg. So I know, again, that the two legs in my 45, 45, 90 triangle are going to have to be congruent. So I know that this side is also going to be square root 3. So then to find the hypotenuse, I know that the hypotenuse is going to be the length of each leg times the square root of 2. And square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. So that's how you can calculate the sides of the 45, 45, 90 triangles. The other special right triangle was the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Remember, the 30, 60, 90 triangle consists of, again, um, it still has a right angle, but it also has a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a right angle. And of course, it's also going to have a hotness. The short leg is located opposite of the 30 degree angle. The long leg is located opposite the 60 degree angle. So again, you've got the short leg that's opposite the smallest angle. The long leg is um, opposite the 60 degree angle. And of course, we know the right angle is going to be opposite the hypotenuse. So again, just like in a 45, 45, 90 triangle and a 30, 60, 90 triangle, there's a relationship between the lengths of the legs. Um, the hypotenuse is 2 times the shorter leg, so that's just 2x. The longer leg is x times the square root of 3. So again, um, you take your shorter leg and you multiply it by square root of 3. Okay, So all, all are in terms of the shorter leg. 
So again, remember, opposite my 30 degree angle has to be my shortest leg, so I'm going to call that x. So my hypotenuse is opposite the right angle, so I know that's going to be 2x. Again, since all three angles add up to equal 180, I know this third angle has to be 60 degrees. So I know that the side opposite my 60 degree angle is going to be x times square root 3. So to find the missing sides of this particular triangle, notice they're giving me the longer leg. They're giving me the side opposite my 60 degree angle. So again, you have to start by knowing what the shortest leg is, and that's the side we're referring to as x. So 8 has to be equal to x times square root 3. So to solve for x, I'm going to have to divide by square root 3. So x is equal to 8 over square root 3. And remember, you need to rationalize the denominator, so I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by square root 3. So 8 square root 3 over 3. So this is my shortest leg. So now remember to find my hypotenuse. My hypotenuse in a 45, 45, 90 is going to be 2 times my shortest leg. So since I found my shortest leg to be 8 square root 3 over 3, I'm going to have to take 8 square root 3 over 3 and multiply by 2 over 1. So I can multiply 8 times 2, which is going to be 16, times square root of 3 over 3. So in this 45, 45, 90 triangle, notice they're giving me the hypotenuse. So you always still have to start. Again, we know that this angle is going to be 30, because I know that this angle is 60, and that one's 90. So again, the side opposite my 30 degree angle, we always have to find x first, or the side opposite my 30 degree angle. Remember the relationship in a 30, 60, 90, the hypotenuse is 2 times that shortest leg. So I'm going to take 9 and set it equal to 2x. So then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 2. So 9 over 2 is equal to x. So there's my shortest leg. The side opposite my 60 degree angle, the longer leg, remember the relationship in my 30, 60, 90. This is going to be my shortest leg times square root of 3. So I'm going to have to take 9 over 2 and multiply it by square root of 3. Remember, square root of 3 is actually a fraction over 1. So I have 9 times square root of 3 over 2. So in this particular case, oh, I think somehow the angle's got, I'm going to call that my 60 degree angle. And then this will be my 30 degree. So notice they're giving me the side opposite my longer leg. So again, the hypotenuse I know is 2x. The side opposite my 30, I'm just going to call x. So again, remember the relationship of my 30, 60, 90. This particular side is going to be equal to x times square root 3. So to solve for x, 6 is going to be equal to square root of 6 is going to be equal to x times square root 3. So I can divide by square root 3. So that's going to, I can reduce this because remember, one of my properties of radicals states that this is actually equivalent to square root of 6 over 3, which is just going to be equal to square root of 2. So this is going to be my shortest leg. Remember another way, if you were not, did not remember this property of radicals, when you have square root of 6 over square root 3, you could have rationalized the denominator, multiplied the top and the bottom by square root of 3 over square root of 3. That would have given me square root of 18 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is actually square root of 9, which I know is just 3. And then I can simplify this particular radical. You can do your factor tree. Um, you can write that down as the square root of 9 times square root of 2. And then this, remember, this gets broken up into square root 3, square root 3, square root 2. So notice this is going to give me 3 square root 2 over 2, excuse me, 3, which is just going to give me square root 2. So depending upon what properties of radicals you remember. So now that I know my shortest leg, which is I know I just found to be square root 2, I can now find my hypotenuse by taking my shortest leg, square root 2, and multiplying it by 2. So that's 2 square root 2. So those are the properties of your um, special right triangles.